Long lines, the biggest complaint for voters in Butler and Beaver counties. As we reach the final few hours before the polls close, leaders in both of those counties are preparing for a second wave of voters. Nicole Ford is now live in Adams Township with a look at the voter turnout. Nicole? Well, Stacey, so far that second wave of voters hasn't showed up. About the last 30 minutes or so, we haven't seen a line here at the Adams Township Municipal Building, but it was a different story earlier today. In fact, the line wrapped almost around the building for several hours. And Butler County leaders say that that was the same situation at most polling places across the county. In fact, when it comes to voter turnout numbers, the election leaders believe they will shatter the 2016 voter participation numbers. And it's a similar story over in Beaver County. At lunchtime, one poll was already reporting 65% turnout. County leaders tell me they expect about 80% when it's all said and done. So what's different this year? We talked to a few first-time voters from different generations who say it was the candidates, the policies, and it just felt it was the right time. Because I don't want my guns taken off me, my gun rights and stuff like that. I was only one other year I could have voted when I turned 18 and I just didn't vote in that election. I was um, at college and just kind of forgot about to get the absentee ballot and didn't really have the opportunity to come home to vote. And I kept getting things in the mail about, hey, you can register to vote, you can do it from home, things like that. So I just decided to do it. As for any issues at the precincts this afternoon, everything was fairly minor. Butler County leaders say they faced a few supply chain issues early in the morning when it came to pens and forms. In Beaver County, they had a few scanners that actually jammed up, but everything was resolved within minutes. Reporting live in Adams Township, Nicole Ford, KDKA News.